climb. What are you doing my house? There's a dog downstairs. I'm off to you, boy. Hey, where's your snicker? Oh, boy, I'm all fancy today, boy. This is BMX 150. Oh. An absolute beast. The grass growing on the roof, boy. I used to ride that pony back in the day, boy. All these cunts giving out about our colour. And now I have to turn the camera and turn it up really fast for your fucking effort. Look at them. Look gotta at the colour of them. Gotta keep them happy, boy. Fresh. Look at that overexposure. Boom. Lit to bits. The time has come. We have dropped merch for Donegal. This is our limited merch. This is Tuesday. We've dropped it today. We're going to the other Tuesday. It's a week in it. Hoodies are 50. T-shirts are 30. We're doing 650 delivery. Don't be sick when they run out and you see your bestie in her lovely fucking next exit hoodie. Good for uh, gifts. Buy your early Christmas gifts. Get them now. Next exit merch. Terms and conditions apply. Yeah, it's just different anyway, like it's nice to nice do a shade of farm edition. Two Jay-Z tractor there. <laughs> <laughs> so I started down now, you can hear it. Do you like the snow? Oh beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit sick. <laughs> gang gang. <laughs> Yeah, so what, you specialise in cars and tractors? Basically, yeah, every, yeah, everything yeah. that has an engine, we can pipe literally. Even lawnmowers. Nice lawnmowers, yeah. there's one of them inside there, yeah. she's piped. Yeah. Oh, do you actually, yeah? Yeah, yeah there's one inside there, pipe. Want to pipe, bring it to these boys. What a machine, but <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> is she good for pulling the trailer inside? She's actually hitched and all that. She's yeah, actually fuck off! She's actually hitched and all that, look at that. KSF's customs are awesome. all else. You should hear this thing roar, it's death now. My dad never put an exhaust on my tractor, like. <laughs> Sorry here, like. We cut the pipe there, I flipped it, I'm with a producer, I went two inch. That's the same as what's on the VW Golf, like. I like carrying that doing all in here. Hey, which man I did probably be Put it this way, lads. Did you something? It was a happy young fella by when it was done. I was. <laughs> Probably kind of like the biggest cars you'd be getting in. Two biggest cars we've had in a Porsche and an, a an AMG Mercedes. To be in a V8, she had two three inch stainlesses the whole way back, side by side. <laughs> two completely separate exhausts from the turbo, like so. The nice man, when we started that thing, geez, it would work the dead, wouldn't it? Any nice complaints put in yet? Uh, a couple. <laughs> <laughs> we do try and reply within a year or two. Speedy response. No, my cat, all my. The most expensive car I've had by far was the Porsche, a Porsche Pan Panamera or Panamera. Was a 2018 V6 hybrid yoke as well, but they're retailing over 100 grand. This fellow was fairly cautious, like he was taking the lift been up for a while, no, and he was in, oh, checking me. He was, he was, he was, I was checking the vaults. I was like, if this thing comes off, I said, that's it. But we actually have a gift for you boys. We have a couple of t shirts for you as well now. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I'll give you one of mine. It'll be like a blanket, though. <laughs> I've been to these boys the whole time, I have no fucking t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Next shade, I want a jumper, a car, and a... <laughs> she comes loose. Like, like, what, what was that? For sure, you're... <laughs> this, is for, this is for hair loss and straight pipes. <laughs> <laughs> and you over him for Viagra, did <laughs> This way, I talk to the customers, but he's just the background. <laughs> <laughs> First time, lads, we got onto some fella, got onto us one day about piping stuff, and he goes, lads, we'll pipe anything, including your mother. Needless to say, we never got the job. <laughs> Good advertising. Yeah. <laughs> Many moons ago, though, when we were on about looking for names, something we were starting it. It was gonna be. As My missus came up with the yeah. name. She was like BFF, best friend fabrication. And I was we're like, you like, go away with that. <laughs> we came, oh, we came listen, up with these big fat fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where she got that name. So who opted for more special names? We were going through lots of different names like Monster Fabrication yeah. and then we have to look up then there's a pile of business around we wouldn't even know. And then we came up yeah. with KSF, Kerry Stainless and just has a ring to it. We used to be piping yokes on the ground like up on axles. Ramps over in the corner there, yeah. like that's where we actually started with. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Thing, that was really easy. Start piping cars and them things, yeah. yeah. Like we started piping our own yokes up on them because we had no lift. Yeah. We were picking around years ago, like with our buddies' cars and all this kind of jazz, and then sure chance of welder fabricator as well every day of the week, so not very good one, like but you know, so he said <laughs> <laughs> No, we said it was it was something we both wanted to do, like definitely. And when did you set it up? So, it kind of got going just before Christmas. Just before Christmas, yeah, yeah. yeah. We registered as a business, and mm. you know, went above board, so we could actually really set up a page and actually advertise then, because you don't have to look over your shoulder in the morning. So. <laughs> not that you were doing that anyway. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. It was only friends and family. No, when you were jacking up on that, were you going under them? Huh? Were you going under them? Like? You, you backed the car up and that. Oh, you were crying under them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And like, there's much room. Yeah, there's much room at all. If you're after eating the spot during the prayer, you get under it. Why six pack? You get caught in the side. <laughs> when we're on this, this is not work now. 
this we're is just doing an actual back, back yeah. putting in a new back box and all so we put in this new v-band and just put in that back box the customer supplied all that if we had to pipe this from start to finish it does it does a good few hours it like yeah yeah good few hours and like yeah. that now see all this this is road clearance that's what he's baiting off the yeah. road now hey you see that in a lot of cars but yeah. with these hondas you need they need big exhaust for the power now he's yeah. he's your honda man he'll yeah. tell you all about power now well yeah k20 you'd want like that that's a 275 system 2.75 inch was uh but most of them when they get mapped would go three inch yeah you'd want it for power like Jesus. powered by hopes and dreams guys <laughs> yeah no that was running a b18c4 which ended up being the donor for that lady over there because that was running a type r engine then and it ran a bearing so but yeah, she's gone more for paint. It was a mad note a few years ago, painted Milan or red, the original colour being green or red, so I'm actually going back the way it was. So once the engine inside is done and dusted, now that will go into that then again. She's in, she's a 91, now she's old school. But she'll see road now, hopefully before Christmas. She's going down for paint now, the 26th. She's getting a full job on the outside and get the bay done back the way it was. Mm -hmm. and the engine back in now, but she'll have the, the Type R engine be going into that, so to be honest with you, I wanted to swap them anyway, because if I was ever to lay one of them off, it would be the blue one over the the yeah. CRX, you know, she'd be on a back road near you before Christmas. <laughs> I got that in 2016 off of one of my buddies of mine over in that air. Like now, that was this, so it's an EF6, like a 1.5 dual carb first day. So convert that now, like you have to change tank, lines, loom, every single thing basically has to be changed. I got majority of the conversion kit from a guy in Wales. And one of my buddies in town was breaking an old one as well. I got a few bits and pieces of him. Nowadays, you wouldn't pick one of them up carb for probably seven or eight grand if you're lucky. You know, there's some fellas selling, they're already swapped, no B series and all that, but they're selling them for 10, 12 grand. And I bought that for 900 euros yeah. that, and I drove it home as him in the passenger seat, you know. <laughs> All for a steal, so. Yeah, man, but sure, like that back then, they just, well, they weren't they like weren't. they are, no. See, there, look. That's just the front spray folded down, see? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I get you, yeah. Um, but they actually have to come out to be able to fit the express, which is absolutely tiny, lads. Like, the size of me is ridiculous, so when I get into it, the prairie gets someone in the back seat, like. A nice sight on the roads nowadays, you never see them anymore. Oh, I've, never, I've never even seen yeah. one of these. Not, no, no, I haven't, no. I had a guy here a couple of weeks ago up in the car, and he goes, I dropped it beside the CRV, and I was like, ah. <laughs> then I got a mad notion during lockdown about that, thinking you know, end up freaking about with that for too long, sure. <laughs> this year gets neglected, and then yeah. I'm listening to get the ear full then. Yeah. <laughs> when the car finished, sometimes oh, it nice. does it be a sheet and sometimes it does be good. <laughs> <laughs> bought it during lockdown, you were saying. So I got this during the first lockdown then, yeah. It actually wasn't advertised. It was a guy over in England. He's a big Honda breaker, like, and he just put up an ad, basically. He was doing a bit of our own trip and he was asking, was there anyone on you know, unfinished projects for sale? Any crash cars or people just were looking to get rid of stuff or whatever. The guy up in Dublin put it up underneath the ad, five grand. And just running, like I said, the type orange at the time and mm. tried to message him and he said, call up. Went up, man, sure, fucking loved it. And my, test, my third saloon having anyway, like, so. Yeah. I, I knew what I was going up for, like, uh, yeah, EG8, again, first day, 1.5, B18 swap now. You know, the Rover shaped Civics, they used to come with 1.8, Doc Vitek engine, even though they fucking wouldn't think it like, but that's a GSR engine, it's also known as, which is what that is, so it's the B18C4, the Type R then is a lot of B18C, or C6, which is the bug-eyed integral shape, so. Learning, I am learning. <laughs> you had the ball, but not flying <laughs> Weapon, why are we going to the gym? Handy for the gym, yeah, in case it's you are. Get, get to the <laughs> fucking gym, <laughs> pop the bonnet, pull it off and put it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, what, Shane? Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I left it down. It's, 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 Jesus. <laughs> You heard it here first, lads, he's a dirty animal. <laughs> to be honest with you, there's, uh, when I put that in now, I put um, K20 injectors, which is these guys. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I just point that out. 76 made a skunk to a throttle body, uh, even though the sticker's gone off it, she's actually skunk to inlet as well. There's a brand new PLM manifold on it, heat wrapped. There's a light and flywheel, uh, the fucking, what is it, three puck racing clutch, Exedia. Other than that, just bog standard like, there's, there's nothing else done to it like, but it made, she's mapped now as well, went down to Key Mulch, uh, Motorsport, blowing Cork, and he mapped it, it made 199.6, so very happy with the numbers, to be honest yeah. with you, for what it was like, you know, but plenty of smiles for a gallon, put it that way. Mm. To be honest with you, there are some of the cars, like, you know, I see some of the stuff you've been able to look at, and it's just savage, savage cars, you know, that kind of way, it's, this is a different kind of power, like, it's not, oh, Jesus Christ, like, this is unridiculous, you know, but it's, hard to keep you happy. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's different, it's the acceleration, and just the crack, and, you know, they turn heads where they go, and they've been the noise, and next year now, we might bolt a fucking slug to the side of an old turbo or something like that, yeah. I see lads over in England, they're mad for turbo in B18C4s, like, just that particular yeah. engine there, just mad for turbo and stuff, yeah, the kids oh, are... bring it up to like? Fuck, would you be talking 250, 300, oh, yeah. yeah, you would, yeah, yeah. If you wanted to do all your internals, you could push it even more. Yeah. Depends on, yeah, it depends on, to honest with you, these cars, like, kick cars, it, your power just depends on your pocket. Like, she revs up to 9 9,200 RPM, like, screaming, like, yeah, that's, again, that's standard, well, that's standard for a Type R engine, these rev out to 8.5, but... 
just type RUC with us, man. So it's different with petrol engines. It's just trying to find their limit. Yeah, that's it. Like. And just just bring it back a notch from the limit. Yeah, I uh, literally when I give it down to him, he's a genius with cars. To be honest with you, man, Keen, a sound sound fella. Like, but I just said to him, I wanted it to be as as road but track friendly as possible because I take it on both. You know, a few track days, but at the same time, it's insured as a road car too. You know, not as a daily now, just for Sundays and keep the room fella happy. Like, I, that's my excuse anyway. <laughs> what you were saying there and all about yeah, like cool. mapping. Yeah, and like. Bring it up and bring it back and all that. You won't bring it back, you bring it up and keep it up. Unless it goes bang. She goes bang, that's when you know it. That's when you know to be you're honest with you, like, it, what's bang? Like when the, when the Conrad comes out and says hello to you. Yeah, to be that, fair, that's no, bang. you'd want to be boosting mad. You'd want turbo anyway for that kind of stuff to happen. Like with these, the main thing to go with these is you drop oil pressure and it runs a bearing. Basically, the bottom end, you run a bit, and when you drain the oil, you have all filings in your oil, which obviously, as you can imagine, is not good going around an engine. Like, they're renowned, I mean, they're renowned for being smoky. Hondas are like fucking two stroke motorbikes, aren't they? Yeah. If you don't see blue smoke, there's probably something wrong with it. Like, <laughs> oh, lovely. You need to file in and earn your keep now, bud. Fine. Bring me when you get to Mexico. Hola. Si bueno, papi, eh? Uh, no, I put them into it so they come standard with the similar interior like what's in the back yeah um because it's an eg8 everything's gray like even the door cars the dash the eg9 then they come all black like in the middle of the eg9 there's a part that raises here in the middle which are cup holders and everything yeah. like you know it is a nice it is a nice kind of a touch for sure i don't have to look back much so <laughs> i say you can never get sick of this never you'd be surprised though <laughs> yeah. you know, we'll go down to the road just down from the uh Puerto Rico oh, yeah. <laughs> In case any of you are wondering, this is how we travel uh, to get to Mexico. Hey. I found a new love! I thought if you were driving it, man, normally yourself, it wouldn't be that bad. You're like, oh, jeez, because really? you're in control, man. Yeah. But, man, it started going left and right there. I was yeah. like, I don't trust myself here at all. So there's a two-degree camber and all the wheels, man, for the track, boy. And I tell you one thing, you'd want to be holding on to it, like, oh, you know. Sorry, no, if I grind it or get You're it. fine out, boy. Have you driven a VTEC for, Chris? No. Nope. Welcome to the dark side. Oh, I'm Yeah, man, it, it starts going too much. I was like, oh, I'm gonna die here, like. This beauty. I never even cared about Honda. This I'd nearly have a baby with. Oh, the pull off it. No, 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 no. I've never been in the car. I was like, I don't have control of this car. I tell you, you're sick now. Yeah, yeah sick. You actually sound sick. Yeah, I'm sick. Yeah, you're sick. I'm a Honda man, like I'm. Right, right. Thanks, man. <laughs> Episode four. We've ended oh, the boy. series here. We're done. <laughs> I've got to drive his car. I've got a cold can of Pepsi Man. And I'm getting t shirt. This is this is spoilage. <laughs> That's beauty there now. Hi, now I understand why you've such a passion no. for them. I felt every bit of that road. Oh! Great sight the ledge! Well, I'm not going to be happy now, man. I'm going to get us some lecturing home. If there was no helmets, you were on a country road. Or Mexico. You were not coming back to Mexico. That's I mean. He'll be back in two seconds. Nothing, boy. Goodies are on the way, look. Oh, look at this, boys. Oh, God. Bit of more cheer for you, boys. What size is it? You can fight over colour now. Extra, that's... extra large, big boy. So you got it out? Nice job. Bye, boys. <laughs>
You want your car to sound like a fucking Shotgun. jet. Come to you. Hey, you come with a can of Pepsi <laughs> and a t-shirt <laughs> and, and you get to drive his car. Very sad. God, he's been silent. We've cut the video of no, 20 no, minutes. He's been no dead silent. No, no launch, no limiter. That's because, man, you'd end up in a ditch. How many cars have you flipped down in your lifetime? You've been in more ditches than badgers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's not far wrong. <laughs> they have a rear subframe. These are a different set of no get into that. Oh, right, okay. These are the newer version, like. But say, my arm now, like, they're in the. See the way you've no axle joining it? Yeah. They're independent each corner, so mm. you can camber them and tow them in and out. <laughs> Compared to the likes of your Corolla there now, like, you wouldn't be able to put your wheels. You know, like when you see on yeah. Americans, they have the wheels like this, you know. So that's, yeah, that's gonna be, that's the high compression build now, that one. There's high comp pistons and all that jazz to go into and But I was just saying, like, that's how small the engines, when they're out and about, that's the yeah. block alone, like, it's tiny, just minus the sump and the head. That's what happened, no one her, it was... Which one is it now? What was that one there? I see the scores on it. That's the one that ran the bear, and all of that, when I drained the oil out of it, man, put it through a paint filter. All the fillings. Yeah, and then got my, and it was like, fucking picking up grinding dust. I nearly cried, but That was treat. <laughs> Sorry, boy. <laughs> Boys, episode four done and dusted. I have a, f a new phone though for Hondas. Now I understand, Giller, why you've such a horn for them. We came up with top cans of Pepsi and let you drive his vehicle. Oh my god, driving this scrap of a thing now, man. I'm gonna sell this fuck. Like, who wants to buy a golf there and send me one of their cars? Sound to the boys for having us, but you legends. It's up and up and up and up and So I hope the next time now I get a free car, a top, <laughs> uh, a hoodie, and fucking, or give me a house as well. Really. And uh, our merch is dropping today. Limited time only. You have a week. Get on it. It is sick. We love it. And uh, we'll see you in Donegal. We will see you in Donegal. Woo! -woo!